Finally, I'd like to thank our hostesses tonight, uh, Dorothy, Rose, and Blanche. With people like them to support me, I'm proud just to be running for city councilman. So good night. And remember my slogan, Gil Kessler for city councilman. You call that a slogan? Uh, excuse me. Easy on the arm, Dorothy. You break it, you pay for it. Ma, Ma, you promised you'd stay in your room until the meeting was over. Who am I, Alf? <laughs> I was hungry. You were spying. So what? He's a wimp, Dorothy. Oh, For your information, Gil Kessler is a very bright man, an honest and devoted civic leader, and probably the biggest wimp I've ever known in my life. <laughs> That's not all. There's something else I don't like about him. What? I don't know. It's a hunch. I can't put my finger on it, but if I could, I would have to wash it. <laughs> Ma, do me one favor Stay here until we're finished I can't believe you think your own mother would embarrass you no, It's not that, Ma <laughs> It's that, Ma <laughs> I'd better skedaddle. You know, my, my wife is out of town. I'm going to be up half the night trying to pick out a tie sock hanky combo. <laughs> this is just the kind of behind the scenes excitement I was hoping to be part of. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Bye. Gil. Bye bye. Well, I think uh, we ought to be proud. We threw one heck of a party. Don't you guys just love being involved in politics? Oh, I haven't had this much fun since I worked on a Dewey campaign. <laughs> Rose, you worked for Thomas Dewey? No, Melville Dewey. The founder of the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> you know, your Gil Kessler doesn't stand a chance of winning. Ah, uh, who says? The Miami Post, the Miami Journal, the Miami Tribune, and Miami's own Sophia Petrillo. <laughs> Ma, he's way behind in the polls, but the election is two days away and a lot can happen in two days. Well, I, for one, am going to do everything in my power to get Gil elected. Oh, fine. You can start by taking this folder he left over to his house. On the other hand, why should I deprive Rose of a chance to be of service? All right, uh, but you'll have to wash these dishes. Honey, those dishes are dirty. <laughs> okay, I'll deliver the folder. I guess there's no sacrifice too great for a cause you really believe in. Just hope that big, stupid jerk reimburses me for gas and mileage. <laughs> There goes a great American. <laughs> I woke you up, didn't I? <laughs> and I better have a good reason. Well, I do. I got a great idea for Gil's campaign. I'm making these bird feeders with his name on them to send around. And you think that's a dumb idea. And you feel like taking this bird feeder away from me and smashing it with this hammer. Like this. <laughs> Holy smoke. Holy Toledo. Holy mackerel. What, Ma? Nothing. <laughs> what is it, Sophia? <gasps> what, Rose? What? They caught Gil Kessler having an affair. Oh, you're kidding. With whom? Well, they don't know her name, but look, they hid in the bushes and took this picture of her from behind going into his house. I don't believe it. Wait a minute, that looks like Blanche's red dress. And those look like Blanche's red shoes. And aren't they her diamond earrings and gold bracelet? That little floozy stole Blanche's clothes. It's like having Agatha Christie right here in our kitchen. Rose Blanche is that little floozy. You, you mean he... She's at the 50. The, the 40. She, the 30. <laughs> Blanche, it's you. Oh, you're getting so good at that, Rose. Now, who's that over there? No, I mean right here. Oh, my 